What's up, Peter Von Panda here. Um, just received uh, this um, three-time display quartz men's military army sport wristwatch with the brown leather watch band. And it's a cool watch. I ordered this because um, this definitely qualifies as a cheap watch. So uh, less than 20 bucks, which is pretty amazing, including shipping, uh, if you think about it. And I got it because it was kind of weird and cool and funky looking. And um, I actually thought it'd be uh, kind of a quirky, whimsical watch that would be uh, worth worthwhile to wear. And what we have here is actually quite a bit of watch hardware for little to no money. And so it just comes in a plastic bag. There's no special box or case for it. Um, Aulum is spelled O-U-L-M. I actually am not sure that's how it's pronounced, but... Right off the bat, you can tell this has three different time zones uh, or different clocks. You could uh, uh, view the time in three different time zones. They are deeply recessed. They are all quartz movements. They are all probably the same type of quartz movement. Right now, they're all essentially set to the same time. And what's cool is that uh, <laughs> you really truly do have three quartz movements and the, the backs look like they just pry up and uh, a standard probably watch battery in each of them. Um, so you can see that they're just kind of capped with pressure caps. So I would assume this is not incredibly water resistant. Um, they also have uh, a pretty standard crown. So the crown just pops out and then you, you can adjust the time. Um, it kind of has a hacking seconds hand. And you could record up to three different time zones here. And these two are the same size, and this larger one presumably is for your own time zone. Now, what I'll say is that there is not much resistance here. So that that tends to tell me that the pusher uh, is not waterproof, that there doesn't seem to be a gasket around it. It kind of pops in and out easily and rotates pretty easily. And there also seems to be just a little bit of slop in... Uh, the adjustment of the movement. So you can see here, I adjust it up and down a little bit, and it's got a little play before it even moves that minute's hand. And so it's not totally accurate. Of course, you can kind of work it to get it right where you want, push it back in, um, but, uh, you know, it's kind of a sign of the quality. So you can't really expect that much. And then this larger uh, uh, crown here, it does the same thing. It just has this very long textured crown so that it fills in this uh, spot and then again this moves too and again just a little bit of a play there um, and uh, the same for the bottom one so they are textured the polished it looks good the case material itself definitely looks like a cast piece you can kind of tell here on the back by these edges it looks like it's filled in and then the back is kind of ground uh, flat and I assume, I'm presuming maybe this is uh, some sort of paint. It, it definitely feels like thick, like a thicker cast, um, kind of a liquid metal, some sort of aluminum uh, alloy, uh, but it's not super heavy, so it doesn't feel like a stainless steel. Um, but then the, uh, the finish is just a little bit artificial looking to me. So, uh, it, but it, it, it looks all right, it looks good. There's not a super a high amount of precision um, because again, I think it's cast as opposed to milled or machined or CNC or anything like that. And the face, uh, the dials are kind of this copperish brown. So uh, you can see very shiny there. They have an inner ring and then presumably just plastic or maybe even a mineral crystal, but some sort of just plastic or glass on, on the top. But, you know, it's actually not bad looking. This, uh, it says a genuine leather here, watch band, but I assume maybe just the the padded part is leather because this this surface material, uh, this alligator type of pattern, looks a little plasticky to me. Um, you can kind of see that it's it's very thin where it gets folded over. It's much more of a just kind of a facade, I think. Um, I don't doubt that this part do, this part down here definitely kind of feels and smells like leather. So I'm sure there's leather in it, but it's obviously not. Um, uh, a super high-end watch band you can tell because it's pretty uh, it, while it's stiff it feels like very light and not super dense um, you know so it's it's uh, it does not feel like 
if you like this watch band, I wouldn't buy this watch just to cannibalize the watch band because I, I, I think the watch band is well, maybe worth a buck or two itself. So, um, And then the, the clasp is kind of the same type of material. And, but again, it actually has a pretty decent little weight to it. So the um, overall for, you know, 12, 13, 14 bucks shipped, <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of a cool watch with high style, which actually goes to show that if you have a personality, if you have kind of a, uh, a personal profile that you like to telegraph, which is kind of quirky or bold, you, d you don't need to spend a ton of money to get something that's uh, that's unique. I'm going to throw it on here because I want to show you that this uh, case itself has a lot of space in between. So I've got about a normal seven and a half inch wrist, but you can see that these pass-throughs, uh, the gaps on the top and the bottom between the lugs are pretty huge. So if, you, if you're kind of one of those people that doesn't like to see your own wrist through there, um, then uh, then this isn't gonna be the watch for you. So if you obsess about those skeleton watches that have crystals on the front and back and you can see some skin, uh, obviously this is gonna drive you nuts, but if you don't care about that, if you like this more, I don't know, it's kind of a steampunkish look, uh, then uh, then pick this sucker up, you can't go wrong, and if you bust the thing up, you're only out the price of a, uh, a trip to Chipotle. So. Peter Von Panda with the Olam 3 Quartz Movement Military Style Army Sport Wristwatch with brown leather. Peter Von Panda out.